All right, so let's find the intersection points first. To do that, um, simply, we're going to use x. So we're going to have um, 4x is equal to 12 minus y squared. Divide by 4, we get x is equal to 3 minus 1 fourth y squared. And the reason why we do this is because we can have the x's equal to each other, and we got x is equal to y. All right, so we can graph these two. Um, let's see here. So we got these. So um, 3 minus 1 fourth y squared is equal to y. 1 fourth y squared plus y minus 3 equals 0. Uh, we factor this out, we get y is equal to negative 6 and 2. Okay, um, I'll probably been better to multiply it through by 4. Uh, y squared plus 4y minus 12. Yeah, uh, negative 3, 4. Okay, so. Um, yeah, negative 6 and 2. All right, what we do now is um, rewrite this out. So we're going to have negative 6 to 2 dy area is equal to negative 6 to 2. 3 minus y squared over 4 minus y dy. All right, integrate this and we get 3y minus y cubed over 12 minus y squared over 2, negative 6 to 2. And plugging these equations in, starting with 2 and then with 6, we get 3 times 2. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to skip ahead where I do 3 times 2, so I get 6, minus 8 over 12, minus 4 over 2, minus negative 18 plus 2, 16 over 12, um, minus 36 over 2. And we get 10 over 3 plus 18, area is equal to 64 over 3. That's it. We're done.